Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So listen, when I tell you guys that I listen to you and that I want to make feedback that you're asking for, I mean it. And that's what today's video is. After posting my last video on the very detailed beginner's makeup look, I got asked if I could taper that down even more to be less products. So today's video is 10 products or less because two of them are optional and I was able to achieve this look. The focus of this look is a youthful, glow, well put together, rested, radiant face that doesn't look like you have a lot of makeup on. You just look awake and like you've been drinking your water and doing your exercise and getting your eight hours of sleep every night. That's the look that we're going for. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. And if you like a channel that actually listens to you and tries to give you the content that you want, give this video a thumbs up and let me know below what you wanna see next. To see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is a super condensed version of my beginner's makeup tutorial video that I did, but we're really just concentrating on literally like minimal products and just look refreshed, a little glowier, a little more awake, and that is it. So I always start with a primer. The primers that I have today are both illuminating primers since I've talked about my skin being dry, but also because they help give your skin a nice glow. So it looks very hydrated, very plump. One I was only able to find on Amazon, but it's drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint, and this is in the shade 805 Amber. This is supposed to be a really good dupe for the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. So I wanted to pick this up to try it. Another option I found in the drugstore is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer, and it says it has age-defying actives in it. So these both have skincare benefits to them as well. This is the Physician's Formula. We're gonna use the L'Oreal one today, and I always shake these up because they tend to be a little runny. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and I'm gonna put this all over my face. So as you can see, this gives my face a nice glow and this can be worn by itself. So if you just want to put this on and go out the door, you can. That's the first step. So as you can see, my skin has a nice glow. It looks hydrated. Youthful skin always looks glowy and fresh, so. That is what we're going for. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. I picked up the shade Dark 170 in. This is one pump. It looks like it's a lot of product in one pump. But when I want something that is just coverage and out the door, I'm not necessarily worried about super full coverage, although this has really, really good coverage. So just going to work this in the skin. But again, I haven't lost my glow, so everything still looks really fresh and skin-like. And because this is hydrating, it is not gonna dry down and leave your skin looking cakey and exaggerate wrinkles or anything like that. Okay, so now my skin looks even, it's glowy, it looks healthy, pretty good coverage. You see a little bit of my dark spots peeping through, but I am okay with that. This is what we have. Okay, so our next step is concealer. I have two that I like to use. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. When I am doing just a very hurry up and get out the door, don't wanna have to take a lot of time blending because it's close to my skin tone. This works perfect for me. When I want something that's a little more coverage and a little more brightening, I use my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Dark 2 Caramel. 
I am going to use the Maybelline one just to make it simple. So for me, I'm doing my eyelids, under my eyes, my forehead, bridge of my nose, not doing my chin or anywhere else. So you see, compared to what I normally use, this is not as bright. Again, I just wanna color, cover up my dark circles, cover the discoloration on my eyelids, and that is it. I'm not even pulling out a sponge. I'm just gonna take my brush, but you can use a sponge if you want. And I'm just gonna start on the edges and just blend this in. And this gives really good coverage for it to be as lightweight as it is. And just to help with the cheekbones, you see I'm bringing this down where I normally put my highlighter. Now, if you want a little more coverage, you can go back in with a little bit. I'm gonna go back in just in this center part here, put a little more product, and I'm gonna let that sit so it can dry down and have a little more coverage. Now, I 99% of the time use a powder to set the rest of my face. This is optional. If your skin is really dry, you don't need to worry about that. I just prefer to do it with hydrating products because sometimes they don't dry down. So this helps everything dry down and blend well together. So I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I'm going to use just a big powder brush and lightly go over where I put my foundation. That's it. Now I'm gonna go back and blend out this concealer that I put so you see how that helped brighten just a little bit more. Now, I always recommend setting your concealer because if you have any fine lines under your eyes and you don't, the concealer is going to settle in those lines. So find a lightweight powder. You don't want anything that's gonna be drying because again, that's just gonna emphasize the lines. I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my brush and just pat down on the areas where I put the concealer. So now you can see I'm not using highlighter, I'm not using bronzer, but because of where I place my concealer and this lighter powder, you still see a little bit of a contour and my cheekbones are popping a little more. For blush, I'm gonna go in with a powder. That is my preferred method, but you can also use a cream if you have dry skin and you don't like using powders. I have a cream blush by actually a brand I haven't used in a long time by Mary Kay. And I'm gonna do one on each side. I'm gonna do cream on one side, powder on the other. So you can see, you can get the same result totally up to you. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna lightly dip in, and I'm just gonna start by stamping that into the skin. So you see how that just gives me a nice little flush, and it's going to blend in well and mesh with the other products because it is a cream. Now I'm gonna take a separate brush and I'm going to use a powder on the other side. So I'm gonna use this Rimmel Maxi Blush. It's a similar shade, it's a little lighter. I'm gonna use a separate brush and I'm just gonna go in. The key is to just not really swipe so much because you don't want to disturb the product under it and just stamp it into your skin so everything can merge together. So you can see on this side, it looks a little more glowy than it does on this side with the powder. Totally your preference. We only have two more steps. Eyebrows, if you get your brows done already or you have a nice shape to them, they look full, you're happy with them, then you can skip this step. You don't need to do it. If you just need to brush a brow gel, or whatever. I prefer to give mine a little more shape on days where I'm not doing much and I'm not really too worried about them being precise. I just go in at the bottom and I define that. I go in a little bit at the top, very light in the front just to kind of fill it in. 
Then a little darker towards the end just to give it more shape and definition. And then I define my tail. I'm not trying to make it as narrow or as precise as I do when I'm doing a glam look. This is it for my eyebrows. All right, so last step is mascara. Now, the reason I say, backtrack for a second, the reason I say do your eyebrows, they help frame your face. This looks a lot more neat and put together with my eyebrows done and even as opposed to how they looked earlier. Now, mascara, I suggest using mascara because it helps make your eyes look more wide open and make them look brighter. You want to do this because we wanna look refreshed. That goes for your eyes as well. I just try to be really careful since I'm not wearing eyeliner or anything to make sure that I don't touch my eyelid with it so that it doesn't look like I have eyeliner on. So there, you can see the difference between using mascara and not. And I didn't even curl my lashes, so this is just my natural lash, but look at the difference in how it makes my eyes look. And then I'll do the bottom as well. So now you see the difference having mascara on both eyes. The last step, I always suggest at least putting a lip balm. If you don't wanna wear a lipstick, that's fine. I personally, because the outside of my lips are a little bit darker and then the inside is pink, I prefer everything to just look somewhat the same. So I take a, on more no makeup makeup days, I take a liner that is close to my skin color or the lip color that I'm going for and I outline. Right now I just have lip balm on. And then depending on you, you can wear a lipstick, you can wear a lip balm, totally your preference. I'm going to use this Becca Hydrolite Plumping Lip Balm. This is in the shade Tide. It looks just like a very kind of nude pink for me. And just going to apply this. It's not gonna give that much color, but it's just gonna help my lips look smoother and hydrated. All right guys, that's it for this video. We literally used 10 products and one of them, maybe two were optional if you didn't need to do your brows and you didn't need to set your face with a powder. So this is as minimal put together, I feel, <laughs> that you could do. How did I, I didn't even do my bronzer, so you guys know. I'm trying to listen, I hear you. If you're asking for my advice on something or for a specific technique, I always ask you guys to tell me what you want me to do next or let me know if you have any questions. I hear you and I'm going to answer you. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone got something out of it and felt that this was a lot easier and a lot less steps than the last one, but still enough detail to help you get through it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know every time that I upload. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.